Hey everybody and welcome to this special video of Back to Singapore 2024 where I visited Singapore for the Eras Tour. And here are some of the highlights. So we got nostalgic toy hunts, doll packages and Taylor. So sit back, relax and enjoy. So first up, on my very first day, as soon as the plane landed, I went to Takashimaya, which was one of my favorite places to film toy hunts back in the day. <laughs> so nostalgic. And even the setup of the store was pretty much still the same. There were lots of things on sale and pretty much has a good stock of newer dolls, but I have most of them already from online. But I did see these two new girlies from the new Barbie Looks wave. They also had a good assortment of the Barbie movie line, and also Mariah was there, but she's still not on sale yet. She retails for about 90-ish over there, so I think I'll wait for a sale considering I already have one. Unfortunately, I did not see the new Odile Mermaids. Then I went to the Disney section where I saw lots of the toddler princesses. And also saw the new Wish dolls in person for the very first time. But they were all the dolls from Jax and not Mattel so I didn't get them. They also still had plenty of good stocks of the live action Little Mermaid dolls. I was tempted just for the sake of having that feeling of buying an Ariel doll off of the shelves but I stopped myself because I already have three of her. They also had plenty of the new Mattel Disney Princess dolls and I picked this Ariel to come home with me. Then we also got some signature Barbies that are on sale, but we'll circle back to them later. Then I went to the Toys R Us across the street, and if you have been a long time viewer of my channel, this escalator ride, this view has to be pretty nostalgic for you as well. They were celebrating Barbie 65 and had a lot of things on sale. But other than that, they pretty much have the same stuff on the shelves. Then on day two, me and my friend went to the Singapore National Stadium one day ahead of our show to queue for the merchandise. queued for about three hours and came back with these. And for some reason, I was weirdly obsessed and impressed with this money exchange machine at our hotel. <laughs> and on day three, it was off to the ears tour. <laughs> I was shooketh of the scale of the stadium. We found our seats, we took some photos, and then it was time for Sabrina Carpenter. She was so cute, so tiny, and this song is now on repeat on my playlist.
then the show started. Taylor came on stage, and here are a collection of videos featuring my unhinged screaming and singing. And I'll tell you, I was very, very excited over the rainbow lights as if I've never seen these colors in my life before. And this was the power of live performances because I never felt that much for Willow before, but after seeing it live in person, it's now one of my favorite songs of her. During this part, I thought she was spelling something on the roof, but then I realized it was just the shape of the stage. and more unhinged singing. Then it was time for my favorite era!
long live, it was one of the most beautiful moments throughout the entire show. The whole stadium was alive, the lights were on, everybody was singing, and it was, it was so beautiful that moment. And just like that, we now come to the final song. It was such a magical experience and such a wonderful concert. And this is only my second ever concert in my entire life. The first being Gaga's The Born This Way Ball in Singapore back in like 2012, 12 years ago. So this was so magical. Then we sang a bit more outside while queuing for the trains. By the time I got into the station, my legs were ready to give up. I was so exhausted when I was trying to take these photos that I didn't even realize the box I was holding was upside down. Then me and my friend refueled the only way we Asians know how to, through Hot Pot. On day four, I met up with my college best friend. He and his wife treated me for bakute, and then we toy shopped some more. Then it was time to open some doll packages, so I received this giant box from my friend Phelan by Things. He's been collecting these uh, Christmas presents ever since December, and we timed it in a way so that I could pick it up while I was in Singapore. And now I'm gonna open it live. I have no idea what's gonna be inside, so it's gonna be pretty exciting. Oh my god, it's in March, but everything is still Christmas themed. Number one, and number two, I hope I'm opening it the, the right way from the box. Oh my god, this one's big. <gasps> okay. Number three. Number four. Ooh, this one's soft. We got number five. Okay, number six. I don't know what that is. I'll open it in a bit. Got number seven. With the Disney Parks bag. I'm so excited. I've never been to Disneyland, so everything from Disney Parks excites me. Even like this plastic bag, I will save it because it's very special, even the bag. Okay, now let's open boxes. I even brought my cat paw scissors with me all the way to Singapore. Um, let's start with the easiest one. Ooh! Oh my god, it's a Disney ILY outfit on an aerial. This is so cool. I've, I don't have any Disney ILY dolls or even outfits yet and I've always wanted to buy um, outfits for them and put them on the classic doll. So this is this is amazing. Oh my god. I love the hoodie the Aerial top the Necklace and her hair is so good. Oh my god. Thank you so much <laughs> This is Jean Grey the Phoenix Next what shall we do? I want to do this one. <gasps> It's an ornament! Sebastian! Wait, does it? I think it's supposed to... Ah! The Disney Sketchbook Ornament Collection. I don't have any ornaments from that collection either, so it's so perfect that it's also a Little Mermaid themed. Thank you! Who knows what I like? Did my audience go, Oh My god, Phelan, you did such amazing job on the, the packing. I'm just ripping everything apart. <gasps> Porcelain ornament. I never had any ornaments, but this is super exciting. Oh my god, it's porcelain. She's actually placed in a little nice cushion. Oh. It's beautiful. Thank you. We're gonna do this. Okay, for this one, I hope I can save the, the, the ribbon. This one I know because he gave me a little sneak peek, but it's an aerial art print. So beautiful. 
I think I need to frame this. I love it. I love this so much. Being an aerial fan, I don't have any actual official aerial artwork, so it's so exciting. Okay, I think now we're moving on to these ones, which I think are dolls. Oh my god! Oh my god! This is the birthstone Barbie, and we've been talking about it. And I'm, I'm my birthday is in May, so it's emerald. It's so beautiful! Oh my god! Look at that waist. She's cinched. Oh my god! I love this so much. Oh my god! This is. Thank you so much. The next one. I see something aerial on the back. What is it? Oh my god, no. Oh my god. <gasps> it's the, what's, I think it's the, the film collection something. Film premiere area. Oh my god. I love this so much. It's so beautiful. Oh my god, really. I wasn't even gonna appear on camera, but for this one I had to. <laughs> but go away, I'm ugly. God. The final box. I wonder what this will be. Oh, another Ariel. This is also one of the Ariel Mattel dolls that I've been wanting forever. Sparkling Ariel Princess in her pink dress. Got in the iconic Mattel 90s mold. I love them. I love every single thing so much. Okay, now I'm gonna get a, a group shot of all of them. And there they are. Oh my god, I love every single one of them. And it's very special to me because I'm not very used to people giving me gifts. Um, even in my family, we don't have a lot of gift giving thing. My parents in the past when I was younger would just give me pocket money, you know, like allowance. This is my birthday, they'll just be like, oh, here's $50, get what you want. So I've never had this experience of people giving me gifts that I don't know ahead. My sister gives me dolls as gifts, but it's always the things that I ask for. So I know what she's gonna get me. But this is like the first time that I got surprised with presents and not knowing what I was going to get. So this, aside from the dolls, it's such a magical uh, experience for me. So thank you so much, Phelan, for all of this. Um, I'm going to send you something back. So I hope you love what I sent you back as well. And I couldn't wait until I get back to home. So I'm just doing it in the hotel room. That is it. That is the side. There is... <laughs> I will not show you the rest because it's so messy in my room right now. I will show you some sneak peeks of... Taylor Swift merch. Thank you, Phelan. I love them so much. And I hope you love what I sent back too. And in the evening, we had a back-to-back -back engagement at the stadium and saw Disney on ice to celebrate Disney 100. Mary Poppins flying in was very cool. And then Elastic Girl came and did her thing. Then we went to Moktunui with Moana and Maui. And as usual, Elsa had a fantastic ending to let it go. And the Lion King was beautiful, and I was weirdly kind of having the hots for the Simba skater, like, I mean, look at that. And surprisingly for Aladdin, they went the live action route. But I didn't mind, and I was serving some vocals. Aladdin had a boo-boo, but he recovered very well. The whole new world was very magical. Aladdin was just throwing Jasmine off of the carpet and around the skies, but I'm glad he caught her again. Then it was the finale, and I was very glad to at least see Ariel some part of it in there. very shooketh by the ending. Ah! 
And on day five, on our last night, I visited the Toys R Us at Vivo City Harborfront, where they were celebrating Barbie 65 with this beautiful display of Barbie dolls, courtesy of Jen Yang. And I also saw one more girly from the new Barbie Looks Wave. I took a nice photo and picked up a Barbie Superstar Repro because she was on sale. Now I'm back home with all the dolls from this trip. So the giant three boxes of dolls I was buying was the pink collection number three doll I believe. I got three, one for me, one for Phelan, which I already sent it off to him to Florida while I was still in Singapore and one for another friend here. I also got some really nostalgic classic Monster High kind of DIY kits for my college best friend in Singapore, along with some cost babies that he had kindly donated to me. So that was it from my back to Singapore 2024 video. So I guess it was just kind of everything in there. Um, the, the tour was amazing. Um, having to doy, uh, doy, toy hunt and doll shop in person was great. After spending years of just online doll shopping, it was such a nice experience and I can't wait to do it again. So anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video and um, I'll see you all soon in my next video. Bye.